That's like really good. It's really good. That's as good as it gets. Don't get no gooder. Nope. We have had two concurrent views. We do? Hey, that's pretty Ooh. good. We're live now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Pause this so you don't have to stare at you us moving I around. I know I that, yeah. I know you do. I do. I know you do. Hopefully this will restart the chat. We'll see. Uh, I need to get Somebody will eventually say hello from some place, or hello, Mike and Audrey, or hello. What did I miss? What I, or what I miss, which would be nothing. <laughs> yeah, nothing so far. Oh, Sorry, I missed uh, Hey, look at all those. Hi there. Hello. Hi ho ho. Hi ho. Hi ho. Hi ho. It's off to, I don't know, something. From Romania. Wow. Whoa, really? That's what it says. That's amazing. The purple is hard to read, but yeah. Yeah, it really is. Let me see if I can change it. Let's see what wow. it comes like. Well, Scargles has some stuff she to say. She has things to say. She's going to protect us from whatever's outside. It's probably somebody walking their child or their dog. Hmm. Now the chat's It is there. a doggo. It is cute. Two of them. Two little beagly things. Oh, they're beagly things. Yep. Well, look at that. Oh, and Scraggles think... makes ridiculous noise like that. Those are the people who bought the house my mom wanted. Uh, it's Scraggles. okay. She wants to play with those beagles, man. That's her, oh, I want to play noise. Yeah, that's the sound she makes. Uh, all right, let's see we got here. Uh, roll the chair. I hope they can hear, th well, I hope they can't hear <laughs> I'm that. I'm sure they can. Yeah. Claire says, tell them, Scraggles. <laughs> don't, don't tell her to do that. Let's see if I can make this bigger. That'll make it easier to read. I can't get rid of this mini feed thing. They've got this in here now and I can't make it go away. Can I make this get smaller? Oh, I can. That makes this bigger. Yes. That's easier to read, huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hey, what's up? Well, uh, hopefully it's not distracting. What? Being big? Being bigger, yeah. yeah. Well, it depends on how much you want to see people's faces. You know... If I were Christian Bale, I might say something that's <laughs> distracting. But you wouldn't say that on this family stream. Well, no, I said distract. I was, I was good. I said dis <laughs> distracting. Did. Yes. Did. Man, that was let's such see. a good video, that yeah, remix. Well, I remember Man, that? I, no. I watch that. Uh, let's see. What's up, Gabriel and 48 and Beth and Rick and Greg and D. Warkar. Hey, what's up, D? Uh, Laura is here. Evan, Jesse, Claire. Jesse. Jane's here. What's up, Jane? Tony. We got yeah. a Bill. We got a uh, Tony. Hey, look at that. Good day, all. 80 degrees and sunny in San Francisco. It's uh, 65 and cloudy here, yeah. but it's very nice outside, it's actually. It's yeah. a really good it's, day for... See, it's more San Francisco here than it is there, I would say. That's true. I feel like San Francisco is usually cool. Hey, than kids. That. I don't think... I don't know how old Tony is. No, no, either. Hmm. I don't really remember. So, <laughs> Tony, how old Tony's are you? Here. Yeah, Tony's not going to tell us that. He on might. Live things. Ryan's here. I got a howdy. All right, howdy. I like that. It makes, makes me feel at home. Um, so I got two things that I wanted to show people this week. We didn't get the third thing that we wanted to do. So we have something that we're excited to do. Mm -hmm. It will be a monthly thing. Mm -hmm. It was supposed to be here Wednesday, mm -hmm. and it's not here yet. Yeah, it's been in uh, Greensboro for days 41, and days. So he's old. Okay, you are older than both of us then. He is. Like condensation on my phone from like <laughs> from my pocket. Huh. Condensation. Uh, so old, says Jesse calls. So old. so old. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we got two things. We didn't get the third thing. Yeah. So hopefully next week it will be here, and then the mail will have. Yeah, maybe it gets come. here, and we have like a surprise stream sometime. We could do that. Just like in honor of I that know. thing. Come on up. Don't use your claws. Ah, you use your claws a little bit. No says hello. <laughs> he says claws. He sort of hasn't been on the stream too much. <laughs> Mark says children all. An ink guy is here. Oh, Laura says she turns 42 on Monday. Oh, wow. That's the That Happy number is the answer. Birthday. You lied. Tuesday. Tuesday. Nose. He loves Scott says bags. spring chickens. I am not a spring chicken. Well... You know, there you go. Holy moly, I'm happy it's Friday. Of course, everyone's talking about how old, <laughs> being about so old when you arrive. Well, welcome, Lisa. <laughs> um, pen stuff I've been doing this week. I posted a, uh, who knows what day it is? It's this, Friday. This is a nose, and that's why my hand's here. He's licking my hand. There we go. The nose cam. Yeah. He says hello. Can I get him in there? It's Friday. That's how go. I know. Yeah. Because uh, pizza happens today. That's how we yeah, know. Yeah, that's how we know. Um, so... This is I, very high. You really put it back to well, the high. Yeah, I did. 
I want to show our beautiful ceiling. I know. guess. There we go. We got a scraggly chair. Hundred eighth birthday would have been Bill Gad's. Wow, birthday that's cool. Today. Yeah. Nice. Hello, what's up, David? Um, so I put up a re review of this pen right here, the Platinum Prefonte. Uh, I'm gonna, I've decided that's how I'm going to say it every right. time. Uh, and uh, I've got this one to give away. And then uh, one of my friends, uh, Andrew Kuhn, said, hey, I've got one of those I could give away. So I'm actually going to give away two. Um, yeah, so go to that review uh, on my channel. And shushies. Go to that review on my channel. There's three dogs in our yard. Oh, Maybe that's a lot of you, dogs. We can't ask her to be good. Yeah. Uh, so go to that review and leave a comment. I don't know, like, subscribe, that kind of stuff. Do you know what colors his is? Uh, his is blue. Oh, so it is so I've got one of each. Yeah, I don't know what size it is, but, you know, it's either three or five. Point three or point five. Yeah. So, there you go. I'm, um, I'm sorry for our dog. Scraggles. Shush. Thank you. <laughs> I don't need you to start in. Oh, man. Um, let's see, just talking to a patient, and he was laughing at how I struggled to get up off the floor so old. <laughs> well, I think the sign is, if can you get up off the floor without using your hands? That's I think it's, can you get that, off the floor at all? No, I think that's, it's, uh, that's you're old I'm... if you, it's hard or you can't get up without wanna, using hmm. your hands. Uh, Claire says, the only way I remember with the live stream is the alarm on my phone. I have no idea what it, day it is. Well, yeah. He says, I'm going to buy an expensive pen from the only store in Utah that carries fountain pens. I'm using stimulus money. Opinions on Mont Blanc. I don't have any Mont Blancs. No. That's my opinion on Mont, on Mont Blancs. Um, I don't have one. Sorry. Uh, the broad I, nibs. They're very broad. Are they? Yeah. Is I that think. a thing? That's what I've, I've heard. I know there are people in the chat here who have a lot of Mont Blanc, and they can, uh, they can hook you up with Mont Blanc knowledges, but I, I'm, not, I'm not one. Sorry. I wish I could. Um, so, uh, yeah, I don't, know. I don't know. I have been tempted a few times by some of their, um, Ugh. like, not Miami Cola Bang. I haven't had mm. a, I mean, I haven't had an energy drink in months. months. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, I, I don't have yeah. a hookup like you do, but mine is water with a little bit of electrolytes from Mio with the vitamins and whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. I mix flavors. like to... Yeah, that's a that's a color you got there. It looks like I mean it's it looks like ink water is what it I looks like. I think it's mostly black cherry with a little bit of This is some random ink something. water. It's uh it's lighter than your, your mm -hmm. drink there. Um downloading Animal Crossing right now, Brian. One of oh, us. One yes. of us. Uh we will get you set up with Animal Crossing stuff. Um let's see. Uh oh yeah, so people are saying uh, great nibs on Mont Blancs. They've only bought bought used though. I don't know yeah, if I'd like, buy a new one necessarily. Like they seem very expensive. Um, so I don't, I don't know. There's I've, also a Mont Blanc um Facebook group that people buy and sell, so oh. you can look on there. I don't. We know probably what it's have called, like but... fewer worries about being um, fake ones yeah. or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got to switch this afternoon. Nice. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. Black cherry um, and orange tangerine. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's black cherry and I don't remember what the other one I put in there. Maybe grape? Maybe grape. <laughs> David says, Brian, you're adding random S's to the ends of words. You're getting too old. <laughs> you're getting old, old. Well, got the Estabrook Camden in black and white. Interesting, but not great. Oh, that's too bad. I I, I'm actually really tempted by yeah. one of those. Not great, huh? What is it that you don't like about it? I actually want to get one with one of um, Gina's nib grinds on it. Yeah. She does like yeah. a like a version of an Esterbrook nib kind of thing going on there. Strawberry cake liquid IV. I've never even heard of that. What mm. brand is it? Or is that, I mean, liquid IV, is that the brand? I'll have mm. to look up because I don't know. Laura says she does black cherry plus orange tangerine. That's what I, I saw that. I, oh, okay. I talked about that. Yeah. Sorry, I was doing other stuff. Yep. I'm trying to go like in order. I like so to go. Get lost. I know. I just like to go yeah. from what is pertinent to me, because I'm selfish mm -hmm. like that. Sounds good. Jesse's swabbing the neon inks right now. Um. Uh, well. In this box, right here, uh, I have like every Kala ink. Uh, so. David missed everything, didn't he? Yeah, everything. Sorry. You might as well leave, David. I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry, but David. It's so um... much stuff has happened that I don't think he can catch up. To be honest. Um, 
Let's see. Yas, don't be saying nothing important. I'm sh I've, uh, very important things no. were discussed. Uh, Liquid IV is the brand, Audrey. It's a powder you add to water. Okay. I'm okay with adding. Hi, Katie. I just got to notice that my uh, my Uncle Dennis has a new Words with Friends move mm -hmm. for me. He's been stomping me real good ever since the beginning of that game. I always wonder how many people are cheating at the game. I mean, I know I do. Um, how do you, Scraggles, you didn't bark at that guy. How do you cheat at Words with Friends? You can. There are websites you can go in and um, give the letters that you have. And then... Mm. I've never used one. I, sw I have not. I don't mm. even play the game. But I've heard that that's how people cheat. Mm, I see. Um, so, all right, one thing I did this week was I did that review and I set up that giveaway. Second thing I did this week is I've been... Scrabble solver. Oh. I've been swabbing, um, doing swatches of, uh, Krishna inks. A very kind viewer hooked me up with, like... Oh, a lot. Like, 45 Krishna inks. And this was actually, sadly, a, lo a while a ago. A long time ago. I was... I know. There's a few that I've been tempted based on swatches. I'm like... Yeah. Should I get one of these Krishnas? And he's like, and you'd always go, oh, I have all of them. All. I don't know if it's one that we want to get. And then yeah, yeah, he yeah. was never I actually. Know. Well, I got him at like a, I got him at a time, I guess, when I was like really busy with other stuff. And then I put them in a drawer. Uh, to, I'm like, I'll get to these in a bit. No, stop. stop him. And um, you got to like lay them down and like chew on them. He's going to chew on that now. <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, uh, she was like, hey, what do you think about these Krishna inks? I'm like, you know, I've got some time now. I should probably get on that. Um, so I've swabbed uh, this many. This, decent. This, like, Definitely like decent. A, a decent number of swatches. That's only these. Yeah, that's those. I still haven't done, I haven't done these yet. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I'm probably a little more than halfway through. Yeah. And a lot of these look really good. Uh, <laughs> they swatched very well. There's some really interesting colors in here. Uh, like, I mean, look at that. Look at that pink. There's like a blistering pink. I really dig that one. Which That's... one's your favorite one? Oh, you I don't said? know yet. It's too early. Krishna Bauhimia? Bohemia, maybe? I don't know. I don't know how to say that word at all. Krishna Orange is a pretty, nice pretty good looking orange. orange. Um, this one is super interesting. Uh, I don't know why it's called this, but it's called Krishna Pencil. It doesn't look like a pencil. If I can get it to... There we go. Look at that thing. That is a faithful reproduction of what the sink looks like, actually. Yeah, it is. Um, Surprising. It's to totally right. How many of those swatches are stuck together? Um, funny story about that. Um, yeah. <laughs> like, these have some stuff on the back. Uh, this is the one I put up on my Instagram stories the other day, because it's called Krishna Moon View. Come on. You just did the focusing thing. You can do it. Come on. There we go. It's called Krishna Moon View. And look at that, it's like a moon. Like you can view the moon. Weird. I think it's gotta be like I put my finger down when I was I was holding it or something and it like got grease or finger. You finger and your grease. finger grease, yeah. I know, finger grease on there, that's my only guess. Um, but then I have these three. And these three refuse to uh, they refuse to dry. It's been quite a while. Uh, a couple of these has been like thirty six hours at least. The other one I think I did yesterday afternoon or something like that. This uh, Krishna Mint. Don't get mint, unfortunately. Oh yeah, it still hasn't dried at all. It's crazy. Like, they're still tacky to the touch. It's weird. Um, but, but all the rest of them seem good. So I haven't had any problems with the rest of them. They all dried in a reasonable time. Yeah. I think Orchid Lily is a very nice and interesting purple. It looks like it has some nice shading properties in it. Come on. You can do it. I'm sure there's a button I could push to make it do Gotta this. Gotta put thing. your hand behind it. Now I'm trying to give it the only thing. There you go. Yeah, this is Orchid Lily. Looks nice, I think. Dusty purple, yeah. Yeah. Krishna Oak, like, did it feathered on my coloring? Which is weird. If you get real close, it was doing it before. There we go. Yeah, it started feathering, which is... That hardly ever happens, so I don't know about Krishna Oak. That's a bit of a problem. Is there any sheen on Moonview? I don't think so. I think it's just a... Oh, you know what, actually? Yeah, there's some sheen on there. A little bit. Yeah. It's not crazy. No, a little bit. Not much. Audrey is dead on. Yellow Valley, I think, looks really nice. Like, it's a really weird, like, it's olive okay. green. Yeah. Sea and Storm is a cool, like, Merlot color. Sunburst. I'm, I'm actually kind of psyched about this one. 
It reminds me of um, Birmingham, uh, no, yeah. yeah, Birmingham Pin Company, Golden Gazette, which David Carricker there got me into. Uh, let's see, Scrabble Solver. Chiserp, that might be another one. Yeah. Pink? Yeah, I like pinks. Yeah. Uh, movie looks awesome. It's a moon. Uh, I can get a switch for the low, low price of 470 on Amazon. Youch. Wow. Sounds like Organic Studio. A little bit. Although, my Organic Studio tend to dry. They just also tend to, like, smear yeah. afterwards, yeah. yeah. Sailor is the one with Crazy Sheen. Casual, which I think is a fun name, is like a nice bright it's blue. nice bright blue, yeah. Uh, Wild Cherry has a little bit of gold sheen on it. Looks nice. Sailors. I don't have he Crazy Sheen on my Sailor, actually. Um, go on. I get, I get some, but not like a crazy amount. A little bit. We've got uh, Silent Night Sky, which is pretty close to that. Uh, Thulsi, I don't know what that word is, but it's a nice green. Gat Green, which I think looks really nice. Nice green, yeah. Um, palm Leaf. This is another real bright in your face pink. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Brown it's pink. It's more a coral, because there's definitely some pink in that one. I think it's a, think it's a coral? I think it's a pink with a lot of gold sheen on top of it. it makes it look corally. Looks bright pink to me out here. No. No? It's pink. And like here. I don't I think know. It's pink. You said red. Did I? Yeah. Well, it looks like a pink to me. Oh. Um, so, that's why yeah. I was confused. That's why. I mean, that's, that's what, what I we're heard. talking about right here. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. Um, brown pink is totally weird. And yeah, uh, that's the weird one. And I dig well, it. One of the weird ones. I mean, look at that. That's that's weird. It's actually slightly pinker in real life, and it's got gold sheen in it. Yeah. So anyway, I've been uh, swatching a lot of these. Uh, Man of Man of a Dam, I think, is what this one is, and it's a really cool, like, orangey color. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah. I'm liking a lot of these. Just a few of them just haven't dried. I don't really know what the deal is. Uh, you miss all the good stuff. Nice. Uh, oh, um, let's see. Sailor's Cream. Tony can't have any fun. That's true. Yeah. Moonview has nitrogen levels of sheen? Weird. Hmm. hmm. I don't know. Um, Tulsi equals holy basil. Or basil. How about that? Yeah. Beth loves brown pink. I gotta try out brown pink. Yeah. Have you had any problems with it? Like staining anything or anything like that? I I have only used really a, like two or three Krishna inks. Um, I really liked myrtle. I think it was a beautiful color and it really reminded me of my crepe myrtles. Uh, but it also stained the underside of a nib. Um, if you can stain a nib, no. that's, that's some powerful staining power there. I'm trying yeah. to figure out where I can put these. Yeah. They won't dry. Best Buy has Switch Lite in stock. There you go. Oh. Um, I really like the regular Switch because I want to be able to like put it on my TV sometimes. What you, do, what you doing there, Nose? Huh? Well, uh, that seems doing? lame. The Switch Lite isn't lame. It just means you can't hook it up to your TV very easily. You can do it, I think, but it's not as easy as other stuff. Uh, but otherwise, it's a perfectly good Switch. Um, I think it's got like a better battery and stuff than the other two. And it's lighter by a lot. Um, anyway, so then I have these two packages. Um, I'll have a package next week. What are you getting next week? I got some pen chalet. It shipped today. Dope. So, as long as... So aren't they in Arizona? Um, Pin Chile? Uh, I, th I think they're in Utah. Is it Utah? Are you sh I, don't I don't know. know. I'll, I'll Where's Pen Chile located? Oh, Anyone? KWZ Brown Pink. Oh, I haven't used that one. Mm -hmm. YouTube's just showed the live stream without a notification. That's weird. I don't know why. Yeah. It's, it should have. Have you clicked the bell? Have you clicked the bell? You got to click the bell. The bell will make you... Uh, are there any yeah, free... There, there you yeah, go. That's what I thought. I did go. shipping, so that's how, and I ship things to them, that's how. Um, uh, so this first little package comes to us from Philadelphia, PA. Krishna inks seem to be to vary on their batches. Moonview moon has a Moonview and a Moonview 2. Hmm. Oh. Well, there you go. That could be. Smash, subscribe, ring that bell. Yep. There you go. Those are the things that I'm Smash. bad at saying. All right, let's get in here. I got this knife at the very beginning of uh, lockdown. It has only left the house like once. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Dope. Uh, and the thing I ordered here, pin shallots. There you go. Um, I don't think Ron actually likes it when people call it pin shallots. So 
Um, so this is from Ian Schoen, and uh, last week, I guess this week I should say, he put up on the interwebs that he uh, had been messing around with different sections for the hey, Pocket Kat. 6. Hey, Cat, what's up? And um, I decided to get this one because it's beefy. And my only problem with the Pocket 6 is that it tends to have a very small section. So he actually really likes this pinched, this pinched section. Mm -hmm. um, how do you feel about the pinch? I'm you, fine. Yeah, you like the pinch just fine. Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit on the thin side for me. Yeah. So I was asking about that. I'm like, hey, man, can you make it a little bit bigger? Because you can totally make it a little bit bigger. Like, there's room in that cap. And so he's been messing around with those. And he uh, made some of these. They're all brass for now because he can just finish those in the shop. Yeah. Uh, but this is sort of has little, like, Grooves. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's grooved. It's, very, it's a much lighter groove than I thought it was going to be. I was worried it might be a little bit sharp. But that's actually really nice. Not sharp, but no. Yeah. It's good. It's, it feels good. So that'll go on this, this brass pen here. Because my other pin that I have from them is uh, silver and blue, and the brass section looks weird. Yeah. So I haven't put it in there. This is a Yovo section. Yeah. Uh, section is hot. I think so, too. Yeah. Let's see fine. how it feels. How much are they? This was 35 bucks, I think. Yeah. It's not bad. Um, it's a little bit longer than the other one. It's actually going to be like partially like sunk into the They were just saying it's too. recessed a little bit. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a recess, so... Pip. Come on. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, it's a little bit longer. It's definitely brighter because it doesn't have any tarnish on it. Mm -hmm. But uh, Your hands haven't gotten on it yet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I haven't actually it. tarnished this pin up all that much. It's really been resisting my, mm -hmm. my, my powers of tarnishment. So let's get a nib in here. You can put you guys, a nib in the other one just for fun. No, you're days. just off camera. He had a, a great big yawn here. So yeah, it's hard life. It's a little bit recessed. Yeah. Not much, but a little bit. Definitely recessed, yeah. Yeah. Let me find another. Uh, I've got another Yovo nib here somewhere. So it's a nib and a little bit will make you. Uh, oh, really? That's what makes you buy it, huh? I kind of like it too. I, I think that's neat. Once you get some that are anodized, you plan to fix them up. Yeah, I get it. Um, recessed a lot? I don't know. Let's see. Um, I mean, that's fairly recessed. It's more than like the 20 or and stuff. Is. So. Yeah. Yeah, actually, it's way more than I thought. Yeah. Let me uh, get those in my hand in a good way. So yeah, it's actually recessed a fair amount. Yeah. Off the camera. Good job. I'm quasi pro here. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah, that's recessed a lot more than I thought it was going to be. Yep. Does that bother you? Nope. Totally fine with that. I actually would be cool if it was even more. Like, give me, like, almost a hooded nib. Like, like a 25? A, like a 25. Mm. Weirdly, I don't have a 25. Hey, yeah. stop that. Maybe I'll have to get you to bring me home a 25 next week. Be like, Scott, I'm going to buy a 25. We have those. All right. No, Let's says hello. Go. <laughs> now you can definitely tell the tarnishment levels. <laughs> yep. So, whoops, there we go. Yeah. One of these things is definitely a little bit older than the other. I was thinking that there wasn't really any tarnish on this uh, this pen. Uh-huh. There is. I think this looks really interesting with that recess. What do mm -hmm. you think? I, I like the differing texture to it. You're gonna... Oh, sorry. I was... No, that's what you I was going to ask next. Oh, yeah. I was like, I've, I'm instantly drawn to texture than distance, I guess, on that. Yeah. I don't mind... I, I don't mind having a recess. Some people do. Yeah. To me, I'm more... I really like the differing textures between the grooves versus divot. I think... I um, like that. Like... I think I like this more... Than the original? Than the original, yeah. I think so, too. My pen has a turtleneck. It does, it yeah. Does. You lose a lot of warmth in the neck. You do lose a lot of warmth in the neck. <laughs> a lot of heat in the neck. Um, heat. Warmth. Yeah. Yes. And it's got a nice... It's got a nice feel to it. Mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah. I dig it. I think it's going to be, I think this is neat. I look forward to like getting these on all of them. And I think if you buy a pen, you can ask him to just throw one on there and he'll give it to you for, for free. So if you buy a pen, I don't know. Yeah. tell Ian that you want one of these. Uh... Maybe you shouldn't say that and in case he did not say that. Maybe he didn't say that. Yeah. Let's go to his website. If only there was a website. It's not design. It's, isn't it D? DSGN. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. 
That's better. Uh, Firefox. Yeah, I mean, you know, I understand that you come to see no's in the menagerie. Scraggles did leave, huh? Who They've comes been around, from? yep. Oh, right. <laughs> that looks like something out of Goosh Town. Uh, let's see. So, section material. Yeah, Brass Ridge section. You have a only. Yeah, it doesn't change the price. Yeah, that's good. Find that Bach. Oh, get out of here. Yolo. Yeah, it doesn't change the price, so. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Then I, yeah, depending on what pen it is, obviously, I mean. Some of them might look a little bit wonky with uh, the brass. Although, yeah. he does show you all the different modes on the website, that's which nice. I think is, yeah, that's cool. That is very helpful. No, I don't need another one. Oh, look at that one now. Ooh. And Ian's just such a nice person. He is. He's I have no delightful. problem talking Ian up to people because, yeah. great. Looks similar to Kara's. Um, it's got a very different like feel than Kara's. I think Ian's are a bit more refined maybe than Kara's, but um, I mean they're both like they both make brass and aluminum stuff. So yeah, yeah, for sure. Although this is much smaller, nothing has ever been this small that came out of Kara's customs. <laughs> yeah, that's... that's that's the thing about Ian. He likes more of a. He's doing a pocket pen thing. He likes it, yeah, pocket mm -hmm. smaller. And then actually. The regular, this is the regular shown design pen, and this yeah. is the fountain pen. So the fountain six is a lot smaller, but it's got the uh, big boy number six nib in there. So yeah. it's pretty good. I dig it. Uh, looks nice. The recessing, agreed. Um, let's see. Let's say a Brian Chu. Uh, you're able to buy the pen with it for an extra. Yep, good. Yeah. Uh, I think it's one of those crazy textured ones. Uh, yeah, I think you should. I mean, yeah. It's it's nice. I uh, I really dig it. I just had a cartridge in mine, and yeah, me too. I that thing is never dried out at all. No, I mean the cartridge. He he gives diamine um, mm -hmm. cartridges, which are great cartridges. I mean, yeah, it's really good ink and stuff. I've had no problems with it. I was worried about. It. I'm like, oh, it's only cartridge. It's not gonna last long. It'll dry out. Nope, not had a problem at all. Let's see, Lachlan, oh man, had a similar design pen and color sometime back, even smaller than the show, and it had a number five recess nib. Huh. He has no O-ring in the cap. It never dries out. Interesting. Oh, he has no O-ring in the cap. Yeah, they do. Yeah. So if you look, um, yeah. there's no way he's going to be able to focus on that. It's never going to. It's going to give this one to do it. You can probably just see it. There's that ridge in there. But yeah, there's no O-ring in there. This is actually the first... I've had this yeah. since DC of yep. last year. I've still got a little bit of ink in there. Yep. But uh, it hasn't dried out. Mine's I bet it'll write. Yep, mine's still the first cartridge, too. I forget what kind I had, but I super liked it. Like, yeah. as a pocket pen, you just don't write. Yeah, look at that. No hesitation at all. Yeah. Good stuff. A little bit of orange in the bottom of my cap, though. But, I mean, it's a pocket pen. It gets yeah, thrown I mean, in the pocket all yeah. the time. It's... But, um, yeah, actually, when I was still going places, this was <laughs> in my pocket all the time. Um, but, uh, yeah, super good. So, have no fear. Get yourself a shown pen. And if there's ever a problem with one, like, um, we have a viewer who had a problem with a, with a shown nib or two, and it'll take care of you. So, oh, like, yeah. don't worry about that. So, yeah. And also, Ian Shown is just the most delightful friggin' dude, He's man. He's so nice. Nope. Missed. Yep. It's totally fine. <laughs> Didn't take my allergy pill this morning. You didn't? I never did. I set them right. Been, you know what? I'm going to take it right now. We've been. This is Mike Does Drugs. Uh, or two or three. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I so have. They do multiply. I have two, and Audrey only has one, so she gets and the I next one. I believe it was Cheryl Lou, who I know is somebody who watches. Cheryl, mm -hmm. I know you have dinner later and watch us. Mm -hmm. uh, she had a collection showing all the ones that she had. She had a, a bunch of fun pocket sixes, lots yeah. of different colors. I really dig so. the gray ones and stuff. Mm -hmm. and I like fall, too. Fall's a nice one as well. So Even though good. it's not fall. Yeah, today, especially, our allergies mm -hmm. have been super bad. Yeah. Um, I might even resort to, like, the slightly expired fl Flonase. Oh, that's, that's probably slight. I'm That's sorry. probably fine, right? Yeah. It's only expired last August. I think it's still good. Yeah. Uh, Ian's super passionate about his pens. Joy to meet him in L.A. I'd love if you can make a mini pen with an 8 nib. <laughs> oh, jeez. He is working on making his own nib, yeah. like, from scratch. So, Titanium, yeah. So who knows what he, what he can do with that. I mean, yep. you know, if he's making his own, maybe he can just make whatever size will fit in the thing. I don't mm -hmm. know. 
I don't know what he's gonna do. But I open better your other it. box. I want to see it. You uh, you want to get in? You want to you want to get in this box? Yeah, I do. What's um? D doesn't everyone else want to see what's in this box? It's just just bothering me. I just want to see it. Oh, that pin is completely unbranded. Yeah, there's nothing on it. Mm -hmm. um, you just gotta Glass know. Rags. You gotta know what it is. There's no brand. Yeah. Oh, no. Ow. Sorry. Um, there's a new Flonase yeah. Sensa Mist with smaller droplets and a much more that are much more pleasant, which you've been using religiously. There you go. Scrattles wanted to say hi to everybody. Oh hey, what's up, girl? Yeah. Um, expired means it always sli might be slightly less effective and it won't hurt you. Yeah, yeah, that's what I figure. Or more effective. Who even knows? Uh, can you put the link up to that page? Yes. Is it candy? Flonase is not candy. <laughs> it's not candy. Um, that's a different kind of nose you candy. Go. You're probably just. <laughs> Talking about the pilot NYU nibs. Oh yeah, the, the Muse are great. Yeah, I've yeah. definitely shown him some Muse. He likes those. Yeah. Um, let's see. Bought my second pocket six at the Philly show just to walk right over to Gina for a custom grind. Solid. Yep. Did I meet you there, Rat? I mean, when you have a name like Rat, I don't remember that. Should we find these at Flonays? Thanks, Cat. Um, open the mail. I think you she, mean, she wants you. You mean this? You mean this She's mail? Pawn at you. Wanna, pets are better than the box. I get it. Hmm. Mm. A mug? It's not a mug. Which is wider, Broad Bach or Broad Yovo? Mm, I don't know. A what? Which is wider, a Broad Bach or a Broad Yovo? I kind of want to say Bach, maybe? I don't know. I mean, it just depends on yeah. ink, paper, There's what so much, specific nib. So I mean, much variation. Um, yeah. I mean... I don't know. I don't really use Bach that often, to be honest. Yeah. Once uh, in a while, I but... I don't do a huge amount of Bach. Although, um, I've got a Bach broad on this, and it is very thick. Mm -hmm. It is also super wet, because yeah. Leonardo's, for whatever reason, seems to run yeah. crazy wet. Yeah, I think so, too. Did you get a mic face sticker, says Brian? Uh, by the way, Brian is the one who blamed for the existence of the mic face sticker. Yeah. Um, I tell you, I haven't sold a mic face sticker in a long time. I've gotten, I think, two orders uh, since COVID-19 uh, took over. Kaveco or Bach? Kaveco are kind of everybody. Like, yeah. they allegedly get Bach and... Um, Yovo now. And Yovo, yeah. Um, also, allegedly, they, like, provide their own dyes or some weird thing. I don't know. They're kind of both. Bach, they're generally what our flow channel could be. Um, all right, so... I can go somewhere to connect. If you enjoy these colleagues. All right, so this is from... Home tool bar. Okay, full screen. He put the, the, the ink and the paper on the back of this little tiny note he put on yeah, there. That's fun. Awesome. So Alex from Shigure Inks. Does this have my address on it anywhere? <laughs> it does back here. Um, uh, I was like, hey, Mike, I hear you like those Kala Nostalgia. I know I need to pimp them more. I'm terrible at that. Mm -hmm. um, got a nose sticker for your wife. Aww. Solid choice. Um, everyone want, would want one already has one? Yeah, probably. It's true. Um, it's totally fine. Um... He said, hey, so I hear you like those Kala inks. Uh, I'm about to get these inks in stock. And if you haven't been to shigure.com. They have a lot of small, is, small maker. Like that. If one of my mods wants to throw a link to them in the, the chat there, that'd be cool. But they um, have a whole lot of, yeah, smaller makers, harder to get harder, makers, yeah. especially overseas stuff, uh, Japan and whatnot. Well, I messed up the, messed up, there we go. Okay. Um, and he said, so I'm going to get them all in. Uh, you want samples of those? And I'm like, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely, I do. Um, so I have samples of every Kala ink now. Um, it's a lot of them. I think it's 32 or 36 or so, 30 some odd. Um, so yeah, quite a lot. Um, and uh, yeah, there, there they are. Some of these look. Some, not... I mean, look at <laughs> look at that. Just inside the packaging, that's yeah. ridiculous. Also, look at my two mods, really, uh, just doing it it. exactly at the same time. Yeah. On it, perfect. Uh, Mike face market saturation. There you go. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah. So some of these are very impressive. Yeah, I got all of them. Neons, uh, minerals, all of the nostalgia. 30 ink in 30 days. Uh, I plan, actually, to do a 31 ink in 31 days because it's May. There's 31 in May, right? Do the knuckles. Yep. 31. Uh, so, yeah, I actually do plan to do that. I just haven't done it today yet. Wow, it's been a, little got busy. a lot of inks. It's a lot of inks. I'm not going to get all these swatched today, unfortunately. What? Uh, just, I don't... I mean, I could. <laughs> We'd be here a while. You want some pizza, pizza. later? Pizza. <laughs> it's Pizza Friday, guys. Yeah, yeah, sorry. So, let's hit the desk cam. That's wild, right? Yeah. So, 
These are a lot normal, of the normal, normal. A lot of these normal. Kala inks are like pretty dark. They're all pig every one of them is a pigment ink. And then, like, normal. here's where you start getting a little crazy. So you see a little crazy one right and there. And you got a couple, a couple of them out here on themselves. Okay. And then those. Woo! <laughs> oh, let's get some light on them, eh? Too much light. Too much light. Too much. Too much. Too hot. Coming Aziz, in too, hot. too much light. Want to get some of those neons? Yeah. Has Krishna dried? Um, <laughs> two, three of them have not. All no. the rest have, but three of them just haven't. Um, but whatever, they're all fine except for those they're, three. They're still, still not, still wet. Um, yeah. So, oh, they said they're so good. Yeah, I hope so. Let's. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple of swatches of these. Okay. Cause... I mean, I would help you more, but I have it's, a doggo. Yeah, you're doing a very important job. Your job is to wrangle. Because we know that people are only here for Scraggle, so I'm just a lap for Scraggles. <laughs> That's right. Really. You're a, scrag a Scraggle lap. I know you guys didn't miss me last last week. I've been sleeping terribly. I don't know you if really anyone have. else. Yeah. But I normally do not have problems sleeping, and I really have been. And it has not gotten any better since last week, unfortunately. Mm. Yeah. Let's see. What do I want to use for a um, top line on these? What do you mean? Well, for like the the words. Usually I'll do it in pencil. Usually you do pencil. Uh, yeah. I, I got so many of those to do. Whatever. I'll just do it anyway. All right. So this is going to be Kala Boogie Neon Purple. Boogie. I'm glad it says Neon Purple on here because I wouldn't. You would have not known that's purple. <laughs> cocoonos are red? Um, what cocoonos? Do the sugar have cocoonos? Oh, are these going to be like, oh yeah. Look what at are these. you doing? How are you just sliding all over my lap? Where's my Firefox? There it is. Yeah, look at that. That is fun. It's got that's a goldfish in it. Fun. Yeah, I didn't know they had them. That's really fun. It's 55 bucks for a cocoono with a goldfish. So they like. I'm totally worth it. I say. Have a piece unique. Can't be washed with what? Can't be washed with water. Don't do that. Um, interesting. Looks like they've done like little acrylic pieces or something. That's really fun. Yeah. I dig it. Yeah, let's see what that goes on. Okay. Digging the Pringle mustache. Who's got a Pringle mustache? <laughs> What's that mean? One swatch a day in May. That's so many. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's actually, that's a good, uh, that's a good, Swatch so uh, a day in May. I like it's that. It's gonna be my, it's my. It's currently May. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, it never gets old. No. At all. Uh, boogie. All right. What's the other one? Groovy. I mean, they're both purple. Neon violet, it says. Oh, it's violet. This really looks more like a pink to me. Now that you have the other one there, yeah. Maybe that's more of a magenta. Fuchsia. This fuchsia is this color. Okay. I believe you. Interesting. <laughs> it's so much brighter than it is on this camera. Yeah. Let me, uh, I mean, look at this. Let me see how the letter opener is even. Mm -hmm. Absolutely opaque. Pretty awesome. There's Cala Boogie. Boogie. Yep. There we let it dry. I mean, it is bright and it is readable, I'm sure. Is it a new ink brand? Shigure is one of Sailor Gentle's main color lines. So Shigure is the shop uh, in New Jersey. I mean shop, it's one it's one guy. It's Alex. Um is the shop in New Jersey that I got these from. Kella is the ink brand, K-A-L-A. -A, and um, they're not really new. Um, the Kella bottle art is psychedelic. Yeah, it totally is. I think that's kind of their, their deal. Mm -hmm. um, but um, I don't think Kella is new. It's out of Japan and it's been around for, I think, a little while, at least a year or two, but I don't really know their history. I've only been aware of them for about um, six months. Because I got them like just before the first of the year. Yeah. Yeah, they have like the Troublemaker inks. They have, uh, what else? What are the other small ones that I can't think of? Oh, um, Shigure? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Worldwide shipping is only 10 bucks. Interesting. Oh, nice. so that's not bad at all. Yeah. But if you are international ordering right now, you might want to wait. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oof. Look at it. It looks totally Oof. blue on this camera for some reason. Yeah, it's definitely violet. That is awesome. 
So yeah, it is definitely purple, not this blue. Uh, let me adjust this camera again. Let me see. Uh, nope, wrong one. Adjust camera. Configure. All right, let's see. Um, what should I do? Saturation, probably. Yep, oh, perfect. There we perfect. go. Perfect. Nailing it. <laughs> Nailing it. Uh, white balance? Been better. Mm. It's pretty okay. I mean, it's not. I don't know. I think it's about as good as it's gonna get. It's very warm right now. By the table. Oh yeah, I know. I don't know. I don't know why that stuff is, but there's the. That's yeah. There's the ink. Come on. You know you wanna refocus. There we go. Bam. I think it's it's more violet actually even than more, that. Like yeah. I can't even get it on this camera. And but. yeah. Doing nail polish uh, photography, if you get neons, they're notoriously hard to get color accurate. My um the camera I use for like my videos and stuff is way better Fire. at that. It's got a big big color gamut or some such mm -hmm. thing, but these webcams, not so much. All right, so those two are done. Um, let's see. After last week's after last week's stream you did, I went over to Shigura and picked up Mongolian Sandstorm and a coloring. Oh wow! Nice, delightful ink. Oh, uh, they have tono and limbs. Yeah, I would want to try some tono and limbs actually. I might have to... That's what I think the one I was thinking. I couldn't remember, but that's the yeah. small maker that I was thinking. Jim was saying he got some from them. I'll put these over here so you can see what's coming up. This is a foxy neon pink. It's, I don't know if you can tell that's neon pink. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's yeah. absurd, yeah. Um, I'm, these are kind of amazing. You ordered a good, uh, Claire, we want to see pictures when you get it. What'd you get? She ordered that Kakuno. Nice. Nice. Um, oh, Rhett said uh, he told them it was because of me. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's always super helpful. Yeah. Um, it lets Not that people... you don't have any, you don't directly get, you know. Oh my, I forgot to. I forgot yeah, to I was like, what are you here. doing? What am I doing? Oh man, it is, this camera is not picking up it's... the impact of this pink. No. This pink is absurd. So it sort of looks like it, you can see some of the white through it in the swatch. You cannot. But you cannot in person, right? It's from where I'm sitting, it's pure, just intense pink. <laughs> Like it's, it, yeah. it's, it's, you're not going to get the, you're not going to yeah. get the impact, but yeah. it's, 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 it's a serious neon. Yeah. Kella's not messing around with these, man. Mm -mm. Woo. Woo. Tone on limbs is big in Asia. Uh, number mm. 10 to make a long story short is a nice color. Oh, is that tone on limb? Uh, tone on mm. limb number 10? Uh, Kikuno's adorbs. It is. It sure is. You like inks that are absurd? Well. You might be interested, yeah. Can I? Can That's I the thing. It's <laughs> highlighter, but I'm very interested in what it, what it will look like in a pen because these are so so bright, so bright that I think they'll be fine. It's not even just for highlighting. I think it would be good. I don't know if too. you can highlight with it because it's, it's so pig. Yeah, because it's the since it is pigmented. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's very it's it's opaque. It yeah. looks like. I don't think I can even bring the. That's closer. I don't know, man. I can't. I don't think I can make this camera do what I need it to do for this. But it reminds you of highlighters? Yeah. No, yeah. it's it's got the same like same kind of color range as some highlighters, but it's mm -hmm. way more opaque. This is Kala Dig It. Can you dig it? Tone on Limbs just came out with a few pigmented inks recently. Just talking my language. And Tina wants to know, is there any worry about what these inks will do to a pen? Example, clogging, etc. Uh, short answer is not for me and not so far. I have several of the abstraction. <laughs> Holy smokes. Uh, I have several of the abstraction inks in uh, pens right now. 
Uh, some of them have been in those pens for months. Mm -hmm. um, I have never had a single clog. I've never had, uh, I've never had any problem at all. No problems with flow, no drying out. I haven't had any problems with staining. Although somebody said that, um, which one was it? Winter Dawn or something was staining their converter. Um, uh, but I've got it in this pen. And so I went and I was like, oh no, is it staining my converter? I, mean, I don't really care that much, but yeah, I'm curious. Yeah, it's converter. It's um, it to make sure stained. this isn't going to... Well, I mean, if you're using like a demonstrator or something, like now, but, but um, yeah, that's crystal clear. So, yeah. uh, but no, these, these inks have all been great. No problems at all. Also super duper waterproof. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, I put water on them and for my, for inkdependence.com, the blog, you can go and look at pictures of a bunch of them. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference between before and after shots of the water tests. Look at that. Like, yep. I wouldn't call it red, but. No, that's it's, coral. Yeah. It's like an intense coral color. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it means business, man. It sure does. It means business. Nope, wrong thing. Desk. Um, there. There's a blog? <laughs> mm-hmm. There. <laughs> that's, that's actually, uh, that's actually why I have a YouTube channel, is because I was putting little videos up here um, on YouTube just to sort of store them and use them on my blog, and I just kept mentioning a blog, and I didn't know anybody watched this thing. <laughs> It turns out people do. Hey, this Emily. is the skinny. It says it's neon yellow. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, I think it's yellow. <laughs> I think it's neon yellow. I'm sure I don't have any. I'm sure I've gotten this cleaned off. Yeah, I'm good. All right, skinny. <laughs> this stuff is wild. Alex wants to know if there are any lined index cards which are similar quality to Colodex, and if not, are there any of the front pen? Fountain pen friendly index cards that you know of. Um, the I think oh Tony, how do you like the knock ones? The knock ones are pretty good, right? Uh, this is going to be eligible, ele, ele, goodness, Ele eligible, eligible. I don't think so. Actually, this is so bright. It. It's. I mean it. I mean, it's three times brighter than it is. Yeah. On this camera, it is not a little. Goodness, illegible. illegible. I keep wanting to throw extra ills in there. Illegible. Uh, but no, I think you can probably write with Good that. Night, Claire. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Ask about Tony can tell you about the knock ones. I know they have an index card yeah, thing. Yeah, that's, that's one pretty good. I just immediately thought of. Doesn't the thing that I got? Ex Exaclair. Claire yeah. Fontaine does, but they don't sell the white ones in the U.S. Oh, is that what? I was only the different colors. Is the Ex Compta or something? Is it Ex Compta? That might be right. I think that they're there's basically the Claire card ones. Yeah. Um, uses the knock ones like crazy. Has been trying to get you to use them. All right, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Depending on the ink you use, some of them feather. Yeah, yeah fair. So I, that's what I've heard. That's yeah. What I thought. The ones that I actually uh, Exacompta says Greg. Ex yeah. The ones that I actually use um, are fountain pen friendly, and I got them at Target in like the dollar bin. <laughs> they're just rando like yeah. target brand index cards for a dollar for a hundred or two whatever this, the pack is um and they work great knock ones are smoother but uh just as fountain pen friendly you don't get as much sheen on them mm, yeah so they yeah. eat some of that um yeah, yeah. i don't know there you go you can jump down old doggo <laughs> she's terrified of this floor yeah. oh there's a cat down there yeah all right next up is uh Orange. Hella joy, super bright orange. I think that will bring you joy. I think it might. Come on, there you go. Now that I have scraggle fur everywhere. Yep. Check them all out. Cool. Yeah, they're not very expensive. Yeah. But yeah, if you don't care about them being white, then the Exocompto ones are good. Dave, it says the color ring cards feel a lot more like water paper co paper to me. They're um they're not as rough as watercolor paper or like mixed media paper. They're much smoother and they don't. So for me, watercolor paper tends to like bleed with fountain pen inks. I mean, I see what he like means that. though. It definitely has more feel than a normal fountain pen yeah. paper. Yeah. 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 I mean, you can get the coloring in the oversize. Yeah. But it's 
not a very cost efficient way to do it. But it is, yeah, definitely not as saturated as it is. I don't know if the that's the right word, but what do you mean? It's definitely brighter in person. Yeah. And oh, you mean the set, the color there? Yeah, it's it's, it's, it looks it's not more... as dark as it seems there. Yeah, it's really picking up some base color, yeah. I think, and not reflecting as much as and it more should. red. It's showing more. It's yeah. not as red as it appears. This is like. I mean, what's what's that color? Highlighters, basically. It's it's yeah, I mean, it's like an opaque highlighter. It's color. It's not a um a cone. No. Which that looks. That looks like a screen, traffic cone. That's a traffic cone. Doesn't look like In that. person, it's more just like a highlighter, bright orange. Yeah. Don't care about white. We'll check them out. Oh, okay. Well, if you don't care about white, then yeah. Um, I got mine. Oh, then, yeah. oh. oh I'm sorry. I got mine. I th I got mine from uh, Bertram's Inkwell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I remember that. Where are they? Oh, I got these. These are by Life, the Life P500s. Um, and these are disappointing. I would say don't get these. They they like bleed and feather with fountain pens. There we go. There's the Exocompto ones. It was like this. Yep. Come in like a, several different colors in the pack. Yep. The only thing, other thing is that they are grid. So, um, I mean, I've used some. I actually have some at work in my, mm -hmm. um, organizer thing the one you got me for my birthday that metal one. Oh yeah looks really cool on my standing desk um do i have any others in here <laughs> the goldfish kakuna is sold out now nice we sold them all yeah <laughs> you're welcome alex <laughs> uh, yeah i don't know where the i don't know where my target ones are they're around that help for showing the neon colors oh what do you got jesse yeah my stomach is growling. I hope it's not being picked up. It's not. I can't even hear it. Oh, yeah, that's good. Um, let's see. Why can't I see it? Hmm. Weird. Well, uh, let me... Only professional stuff going on here. There you go. There we go. That'll do it. Yeah. So yeah, this is this is much better. It's taken with like a real camera, not a webcam. So there's the yellow, yep. foxy pink, Mont Blanc. That's not part of it. And there's that. There's the neon orange, neon green, Ruby. neon purple, groovy. Then, yeah, the violet. Yeah. Dig it. My dig it looks a little bit darker than that actually. What, um, what kind of paper are you using there? Is that Tomoe River? And then neon blue. Dude. Dude. Yeah. So yeah, they're... What is that noise? I don't know. That sounds terrible. I hope you guys can't Ooh, hear it. Scruggles has got to hate that. Yeah. That is very unpleasant. Uh, display caption. There we go. Love that Mont Blanc. Good. I, I haven't really used it's to my yeah it's to my river yeah um is that a hippo or something like that lucky to have daiso japan oh yeah you are lucky to have daiso near you yep word cards are very fountain pen friendly yes they are um i've got some of those actually they're like they're little ones right yeah if you're in california or texas go to daiso they have mm. lots of fun things yeah i've got some around here i can't put my hands on them at the moment but yeah those are good Cat wants to go out. Cat does not want to go out. Nope. That's Mr. He Nose, and he is an indoor cat. He uh, does not care about going to the outside. He has a little bit of. He wants to look out. There's so right out here. There's a um. There's a suet. Post, a suet block, so the birds come right up there, and he sits there and chatters his teeth, wanting to catch birds. Yeah, this is Cala. Peace out. I wonder if maybe it's soaking in a bit more to this to the word card than it does to the Tomoe River. Probably. Because I had a I had um, Mongolian sandstorm looked entirely different on Tomoe River than it did hmm. on every other paper. Oh, that sounds terrible. It's like a like imagine if you could hear a dog whistle. So this is not even close at all. Wow, weird. Like this is really weird. It's. It came out like. The like wet yellow or spots something. are showing up yellow, but. Yeah, it's 
It's so much brighter than you can see on there. So much, yeah. This but, well, that one's way off. Yeah, way off, but it's totally weird. I don't know why it's doing <laughs> that's that's a strange behavior. So look at the pink one next to it, and then yeah. imagine the green one is the neon version of that one. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Uh, is there one more? There's one more. Dude. Hey, dude. Did anyone watch the show Hey, Dude on Nickelodeon growing up? No. Man, I love that show. I did not have cable as a child. Well, I hope somebody out there remembers Hey, Dude. There's one... There's an actor that became like a little more famous by camera but what he ended up being on hmm. let me see if i can find out tony says he watched hey dude beth watched hey dude yeah. let's see it was the first episode was on in 1989, and it, the final one was in 1991. Huh. Ben Stiller's wife was on. Yes, that. Christine Taylor. Yeah, she was in it, and this guy, David Lasher. Nope. Really? What else is he on? He was in Sabrina the Teenage Witch, and he was in Blossom and Hey Dude. Um, Mm. He's 48 years old now. He's an old man. Whew. All right, well, there's you the... You weren't uh, allowed to watch Nickelodeon? Oh, man. I... Whew. I wasn't either. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to watch it. Because we didn't have cable. Oh, there's Andrew. What's up, Andrew? He's the source of the second pre Tay. 48, elderly, yeah. Well, I mean, if the last time you saw a person was, like, when they were 10 or something. <laughs> now he would have had to be uh, in his teens, I guess. Mm -hmm. In, like, the late 80s. He was in a couple episodes of 90210, the original, when it first came out. Also didn't watch that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Audrey likes to do this thing where she's like, hey, you remember that music video for that one song? And I'm like, no. Yeah, I the main thing, he's in Blossom forever. Jesse says she wasn't allowed to watch it because it encouraged kids to be disrespectful of their elders. Uh, sometimes. Clueless. He was in lots of episodes of Clueless. Episodes? Yeah. When it was on the TV show. I didn't know there was a TV show. Yeah. There you go. My mom actually didn't get cable until my sister and I both moved out. He was in a lot of Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Hmm. With the Melissa Joan Hart. Not the... Oh, I remember movie. Melissa Joan Hart. I had a big crush on wow. Melissa Joan Hart Good back then. Yeah. Uh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, uh, Excess Baggage, mm. like her one film vehicle that didn't go super well. He was on three yeah. episodes of Melissa and Joey, which was a show with Melissa Joan Hart and Joey Lawrence, which I didn't know was even a show. Well, there you go. Cat's gonna head out. See you later, Cat. Take care. Send some warm thoughts Cat's way. She is a physician working in a hospital. Yeah. Pretty rough. Yeah. So yeah, these are um, these are pretty impressive neon inks, eh? To them. And then, of course, I've got, like, these bags of not neon inks. It's a lot. Most of them look fairly, like, dark. They they're do. All... They lot, a lot of them look dark. They're very subtle uh, in their differences. Yeah. A couple of purples in there. Some look like they're going to be blues or greens. But a lot of very subtle dif differences. Also, since I've already got six of these, I will probably do a giveaway of the ones that I already have, of the mm -hmm. ink samples I have. Um, so be watching out for that eventually. Um, and, uh, you know, enjoying your days off, working three weeks straight, starting 5-11. Oof. Oh, man. That sucks, Kat. That's, that sucks. So, yeah. Alex says that he was given free reign with media, uh, as a kid, and he wished mm. now, in hindsight, that he wasn't. Really? You were, too. I think overstimulation may be a bit problematic. Hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, I wouldn't say I had free reign over anything. I mean, there were definitely limits of things that I could watch but my limits were much more Hi. of a free reign than you for sure but I had an older brother so you were for, so I mean I probably got a little bit more because my brother was a few years older than me mm. so I just was able to watch what he watched because it would be difficult to say no you can't watch that but you can yeah. so i think that's horror part movies of the reason and gangster why. rap mostly yes yeah. i you know yeah um 
Rick said he ordered a pocket pen, navy, and brass, assuming I'll be back for the hammered. No. Oh, wow. Right on, Rick. No sudden encounter with your black ink, the black ink one. I don't know. I think the black ink is stuck around, but it seems like the, you know. He's, he's mostly not a black cat. He's mostly oh, see, a white yeah, cat. he was the younger brother. So, yeah, I think that's part of it is as mm -hmm. parents, I'm sure it's really difficult to, as kids, you're like, that's not, it's not fair. It's not fair. And so, well, I mean, yeah. that cat just fell. Did, did you, uh, scrap, so 68 people you saw that? you. Did you hurt your toe? Yes. Yeah. You okay? <laughs> no, he looks like he's okay. I think he was just embarrassed. Scratch up my chair. Probably. <laughs> um, all right, Swatchers need to go make dinner. See you around. See you oh, too, yeah, David. That oh, saw it, yeah. Oh man, poor dude. The fall of nose, <laughs> yep. So you know he's usually an extremely uh, dexterous cat. He but is. Sometimes he gets a little bit distracted, like looking yeah. out the window or something, mm -hmm. and he just like foot <laughs> falls over. <laughs> Yep. Remember black and white TV? I had black and white TV. Yep. Um, I think my grandparents did mm. when I was a kid. Yeah, we definitely had a black and white TV. I also had a TV with. Um, my with... parents will let me know. I don't. I don't remember it at our house. We had one with two dials: one for UHF, and one for VHF. And then I have one with like push buttons, like physical oh, I remember push those. buttons. Yeah. And you had to like mm -hmm. set like tiny yeah. little tiny little knobs inside yep. a door to like tune in each yep. channel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's fun. Fun. Did you watch? Did you have to watch Jackie Gleason while you eat? No. Does anyone know that <laughs> reference? The J Jackie Gleason while we eat? No. Oh wow! Well, somebody here, somebody out there will know what I'm, what I'm making reference to. Somebody will have it. Yep. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing a bunch of swatching. I'll be doing 31 inks and uh, what? What was her? What was Laura's rhyme? Um, swat, swatch a day or something. So watch a day in May? Yes. Yeah. That, you got it. Yeah. Back to the Future. Yep. Really? Thank you. That makes me feel better. <laughs> Use that cage, little guy. Because remember, so they got a new TV, <laughs> and they put in while they're having dinner, and then that, now we can watch Jack. So remember when he falls and hits mm -hmm. his head? and yeah. mm. Guys just stopped said they never had a, a remote at their house. Me either. We, we didn't uh -huh. have a TV with a remote until... Well, I guess we... Not never. Um... We must have had one when I was in like high school, maybe. I don't really remember. Deal car is taken off. See, what, see you later, So D. we moved from the ci city, I mean that very loosely, to the country, which was right outside the mm. city, so it was not really far out. And my brother was just so bothered because we had cable up until that point, and then we moved to the rural parts, and we weren't going to have it. We couldn't get it. So he, my brother just annoyed my parents until they got satellites so then they got one of those huge like you remember back in the day that like they're not this big they're just like oh yeah one of those huge. ones like in the backyard with like a crank yep. and had, oh wow. no i don't think they had a crank they automatically did it but you had to wait till it like had to move a certain spot yeah that sounds awesome yeah we didn't we never had that mm -hmm. no that's intense yeah it was. <laughs> you were like uh, you were nasa back there yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah Six feet across? I don't know. I mean, yours might have been bigger than that. Big, yeah. <laughs> they were out in the country. I, I had much. Again, it was, you know where our house was. And oh, yeah. Middle so, of absolutely nowhere. What are you talking about? It's like right down the street from where that mire ended up being. Where? In, in Defiance. In Defiance? Yeah. I mean, oh. it was right, and now it's not even in the country hmm. anymore. I remember driving past like this, um, I thought it was Grover or something was like near one That's of the factories town. and but it was like yeah. you're like driving on the highway and there's like a field like oh yeah we used to live out right o over there and there's just like nothing there no that was right by the train tracks so i grew right. up right on the train tracks growing mm. up mm. i didn't die so. that's good this is useful for communicating with aliens there you yeah go. husband's dad used to install those giant dishes really oh. that. had tv with a record player and a radio and a huge cabinet so we had a record yeah. player radio eight track Ooh. Whew. Yeah, big console thing. Yeah. Uh, which I broke. Um, I mean, most of it worked, but I, I did something to the 8-track. And, it, like, oh, I don't know what I did as a child, but it stopped. It would just mangle 8-tracks and 4-tracks from then on. I'm sure your mom's but, still bothered by that to this day. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. 
She's like, <laughs> all my eight tracks I didn't get to listen to because that kid. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was like eight tracks were a, a done thing by then, but we, I listened to a lot of records. I mean, yeah, in the span of time, mm. eight tracks were like yeah, a tiny nothing. bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, but we, uh, I, I like wore out records of like Fox and Hound and stuff like that. Like you read along with the record and does the voices and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That was mostly me. No eight tracks. We had a little tape recorder when I was a kid. And mm. so my mom would play us of, you know, we would have a little microphone thing and play. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. Yeah. But it was tape. It was early, very early tape. Laura had a Fisher Price record player. Oh, Walkman and VCR. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. Peanut butter in the eight track. I don't think so. I'm older than you thought. <laughs> 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 well, um, yeah, maybe. I mean, I'm forty, so you know. I am not. Nope. Young and spring chicken. She's gonna trade me in for a newer model one of these days. Yeah. Uh, man, uh, yeah, uh, mini disc and stuff. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I'm pretty old. Cause you remember when you had the the cd the cd was worse than the walkman for carrying around and stuff because the discman yeah the discman yeah. because you'd sit there like oh i'm gonna listen to my music and i'm gonna be working going for a run no that thing was just skipping constantly it was terrible you'd rather have a tape in that case i had a i still have it somewhere i had a kenwood they had like six or eight second shock protection. It was amazing. Oh. Uh, Alex says, I remember a while back I mentioned I was precious about nicely bound notebooks as opposed to when you're just using a rodeo pad and you can write whatever you want and rip it out. Um, I'm the same way. I'm wondering how you use various notebooks, pads, index cards and stuff in your personal and professional lives. Uh, you're for your parents' remote control. Nice. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, uh, a 30 foot cable with a remote, that's amazing. Um, Terribly unorganized and have a hard time keeping your world straight without digital help. Uh, is it still alive? Yeah, man, still alive. What's up, Julie? Um, mm -hmm. We were talking about the uh, eight-track record player, tape player, or um, uh, radio console that mom had that I apparently broke as a child. Mm -hmm. um, yes, yeah, so I am a little bit precious about uh, those kind of notebooks. I keep... <laughs> I'll show you how I keep up. I'm not. I'll just start adding crap to a page and I yeah, hear. Yeah, she's super good at it. Um, good or bad, depending on what you think. So, we got the picture in picture. Uh, there's us, Audrey. Ooh, wow. Um, Lucky you look around you. the sides here. I just have, like, just post-it notes just rimming the edge here. Um, although I've taken them off in the middle a lot because I had some stuff in the middle. But... Um, most of the, like, when are my bills due? And I've got, uh, two whiteboards here and then I've got a whiteboard that this light is in the way of now. And there's my school schedule. Um, so the way I keep things like together is I have a lot of post-it notes. I have a whole drawer of post-it notes. Um, and then I do use digital stuff for sure. I have my phone and my iPad that do that. I've got uh, my planner that I keep up with pretty well, even now in the quarantine times. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I use a lot of those kinds of things. I also use, just starting to use post-it notes. Oh, let me tell you about the joys of post-it oh notes. Oh my gosh, since uh, the first day that I met Mike, he's been ridiculous. It's been, about. it was way before that. Yeah. Um, I also keep, uh, this is a, uh, a Baron Fig Mastermind. This is the original Mastermind. I've got one of the smaller ones, too, and the paper is just not as good, I don't think. So, like, I don't know if I can recommend this super hard. Um, but uh, the right notepads, horizontal, ruled notebook yeah, thing, lot, yeah. I love these. I think this is great. I mean, these are just class note things. Um, but this is great for keeping my stuff together. That was when I stuck outside. The one on the porch uh, that's protected from the weather is perfectly fine, legible, yep. not even mold. Yep. The ones out on the de on the fence have the been fence exposed for yeah. like uh, like a year and a half or something, almost two years two, I actually. Think it's about two years now. Yeah, July Fourth of July is when I put those out. Yeah. So he chewed up my bags while you were looking. Well, I didn't hear it. Oh, that was already chewed up. He did that before. Okay, good. I was like, um, I would have heard him. So yeah, almost two years. Those are mildewy, but yeah, they're still there. Yeah. Uh, Just yesterday so when we were going out the gate, I made a mental note of post-its that are still there. <laughs> yeah, I did too. <laughs> Um, so, uh, let's see, I typically have more than one notebook involved and I never really forget where you jotted something down. So the thing I do about that, um, I do have different notebooks to different things. So like, 
So um, does it matter? Sorry, I didn't mean to get go ahead. you. Does it matter how fancy you think the notebook is? So is it because that right pads one is just that's a wire bound? It's mm -hmm. not. You can tear it out, and it's not a bit end of the world. Whereas if it's something that's an in that's you can't tear out, it's a little bit more permanent, and you don't like that. You think that's part? Yeah, of it? kind of. I'm trying to get over that actually. So this is my my Lockby. Um, no. <laughs> my Lockby notebook thing here. Also the paper tasting things are right under him. I need you to get him off of there. He's, yeah. he's just mangling everything. Thanks. Um, so in here I have three notebooks going on. Just two at the moment. I must take another one out. But I have this one, which is a Fool's University notebook. Pretty sure. Good boy. Or something like that. Um, which I use for um, uh, Faculty Senate stuff. So I started using this one like just mm -hmm. as a notebook. Um, and then I've got, this is my Hobonichi, of course, in, in there. And then I've got, um, where's my other one? I was just using it the other the day. The baby one? No, 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 oh. it's another notebook. It'll be loose. Um, oh, it's actually over here underneath some stuff, I think. Yeah, just tell me that giant stack of crap. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I've got my, get away from you ah. are a pest <sighs> goodness um this is uh this is a lockby tomoe river notebook i was using uh, this is i was using for um the undergraduate curriculum committee that i'm on mm -hmm. and also we're interviewing a, a bunch of provost candidates at the school so that's what this is notebook is for and then i've got my flying spirit notebook which is my plague journal i've been using it for that the cover is the lockby that's what they're talking about? Yep. Lock me. Yep. I like it. So, um, I've been trying to use different um, different notebooks for different things. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, the wirebound ones are just easier for me. Because I can just, like, write stuff and, like, make lists and like, tear pages in half and stuff when mm -hmm. I want to, you know? And I don't feel bad about it. But if I was going to start tearing stuff out of, like, you know, to my river notebooks, I feel a little bit like I've wasted stuff you know yeah so i try not to do that as much or at least that's that's my thing so yeah so there you go but um yeah lockby's cool it's um I'm, i really like the stuff i've got from i've got a tool roll which uh fig boot did a review on not too long ago but i haven't really gotten to use mine because i haven't gone anywhere since i got it i, mm -hmm. I got it just before the plagues yeah <laughs> so get that crap back over there for me thanks it's about dinner time is it Audrey was laughing at me last week because, like, I was going for, like, two hours. And she's I like, know. this is what happens when I'm not on there. You forget. And you just keep going. Uh, let's see what I missed out here. Walkmans. Yep. Cassette, <laughs> cassette tape would get tangled and stuck in players. That was good mm -hmm. times. Yeah. Um, Starting to use uh, Post-its. Yep. Uh, show more on notebook. Yeah. Helpful. Thanks. I'm glad, you, I'm, glad I'm helpful, Alex. I hope... Uh, look, I'm, I have to be organized or my ADD will just wreck my whole mm -hmm. situation. Um... Let's see. Remember when we put up those extreme post-its? They're pretty amazing. Yeah. Favorite snack cakes? What's your favorite snack cake? Little Debbie stuff. Hmm. Classically, I used to get the zebra cakes from my grandparents. Zebra cakes? Okay. That's a... Yeah. I can... Yeah, that's a classic answer. I don't... I've only had a zebra cake like once. Uh, it's not my jam. I don't really like filled things. Or the Swiss Miss. Yeah. Those seem like things those you'd be into. Those two, I, I'd say the most... Ones I've eaten the most. My list of snack cakes, uh, top five. Is Nutter butter, but Nutty Buddies. Do the, Nutty, those don't count. They're not cake. Nutty Buddies. That doesn't count. But okay. And uh, Star Crunch. And okay, I do like those. Nothing two. else. Those are the only two that are any good. <laughs> oh, I guess those little brownies that come with like the two pack cosmic of brownies. Brownies. No, just the regular ones. The cosmic ones have like the little stars on them. I don't want that crap. I just no, want the, the frosted sprinkles. brownies. Okay, that's fine then. Yeah. yeah, just the frosted. So three things. That's it. Yeah. Uh, Laura's heading out. See ya. You like that tool roll? The tool roll is very cool. Um, and eventually I'll get to like actually use it. Yeah. Could you grab it for me? It's right there on the corner behind you. Show people what we're talking about. I still has a tag on it. I feel bad about this, but just like COVID, bro. So you unroll this thing. It has a zippered pocket over here. Yeah, I almost got you that for Christmas, so I'm glad I didn't. Well, I mean, you know. 
I also had gave it as a suggestion for other people to give you because I decided I wasn't mm. going to give it to you, so I told other people that you, you were probably going to be interested in that. Oh, I am. Was I that was... A, was that a good choice? Or yeah, good. Yeah, it's very good. It's got big pockets up here for like notebooks and tools, I guess, and it's got differing sizes of uh, elastics. You can put knives and pens and pencils and mm -hmm. pliers, whatever you have, really. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is it's a good roll. Solves the problem of no ring for accessories that most pin rolls have. Yeah, totally does. Yeah. Totally, have a good night, you guys. Totally does. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to using this you now when it's safe to go out again. Uh, large traveler size stuff with removable interior notebooks. Need to kind of think for sure. Never bought one. Um, the ones that I like the most, I mean, this Lockbee is pretty cool. Um, the rotor fed and Toshima glider is amazing, but it's also like you're paying for that. So, yeah. make sure you like the system before you get into yeah. it. Um, and the other is the um, uh, earmuffs. Um, there we go. Is the Franklin Kristoff Vagabond. Um, you, you're good now. Okay. Um, which is... Yes. So this is the Vagabond, which is traveler's notebook sized. Um, so the notebooks are kind of skinny. But the thing... <laughs> oh, earmuffs, yeah. The thing I do uh. is this. I usually... Not with the line one, obviously. But like blank and the dot grid ones especially, I like to just do landscape mode, mm -hmm. basically. But these are, they make these, you'll have these in all kinds of materials, right? Yeah, we have them in leathers now and we have them in the wood paper. Yeah. Yeah. Natural wood fire, Natural NWF wood. Yeah. or whatever. Um, do y'all still have the wax canvas stuff? Yep. Yeah, too. yeah, I really like these. I think it's great. I've had this for, it's been a couple of years, I guess. Must have Has been. Has it been that long now? It must have been couple of years anyway and it's i mean looks pretty it looks good it's picked up a little bit a few scratches and stuff but it's wax canvas it's supposed to yeah it's supposed to yeah, yeah. also um yeah, you like that this well. is one that audrey when did you get this for me my birthday last year i got it for you from at the saint louis show saint no you didn't go to saint louis this not this year the year before you went to saint louis yeah remember that it was like the month before jim died i didn't remember that you went it was his last show yeah really yeah. Huh. Well, I didn't know you'd even been to that one. Anyway, yeah, um, yeah this is Kernow. I didn't even know Kernow went to that show. Yep. Um, Kernow Leatherworking, who basically just uses a Facebook page for yeah. their storefront stuff. Just contact them and say, mm -hmm. hey. C U R N O W. Yeah. Um, and um, this is, I've also got, this is another little, let's see, can I show this? No. Oh. Yeah, this is actually just show, pin show notes, but this is the graph one. Uh, it's got lots of little elastics. I keep a blotter page in there, that kind of stuff. But, but yeah, this is really good too. So there's lots of options if you want to do the multi notebook thing. Mm -hmm. um, and it's uh, really nice leather. And everything this is so nice. Like, this is some of the nicest feeling leather around. And their prices are really good. reasonable. Yeah, this came reasonable. with like several Tomoe Rivers. It was what like fifty bucks or something for the whole thing. I don't remember. You had to buy the notebooks separately, but they have lots yeah. of different options. Did I keep the receipt? I did. Yeah, uh huh. There you go. Fifty-seven bucks for all the stuff, and that's with that's after taxes. Yeah. So. <laughs> Katie's pushing on the door. Yeah. Um. So yeah. yeah well, I mean, thank you for posting that. Yeah. Oh yeah, thanks. Good job, Good Bijou. Job. Yeah. Uh, waiting on some Galen stuff to come back in stock. Yeah, mm -hmm. Galen's are really yeah. cool too. They're impossible to get hold of right now. Yeah. Everybody's out, and you can't really ship from Turkey at the moment. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, those are really good too. So yeah, there's lots of good options in that space. Yeah, but yeah, and yeah, you can email them. So they're super nice. I cannot, off the top of my head, remember their names. Mm. But this uh, husband wife, mm. it's a family. Little I want to say it's thing. like John Kernow or something like that. It might be John. Yeah, yeah. It's super nice. And then usually we'll take pictures and let you know what they have in stock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I uh, I really like chatting with them in uh, San Francisco. San Francisco. Yep. Yeah, good folks. Um, uh, oh, <laughs> Alex says he's always like the looks of the Vagabond. He's going to go buy one right now. Oh, oh cool. Nice. It'll probably, probably Audrey will ship it to you on Monday. <laughs> yeah, I'll be in on Monday. Yeah. So, um, let's see. You want to love those covers. They're hard to use if you're left-handed. Which, which ones? The Kernow ones or something? I think it's got to depend on your paper or something, right? Um, but since I usually landscape the Vagabonds and stuff, I don't think it would Steve, matter which side. for now. Apparently. Steve. There you go. I was close. Yeah, it was a normal name, yeah. And um, the other guess would have been Brian, because that would have been a good guess. Um, yeah. Diane. Well, because there's so many Brians mm. in the community. 
Um, another thing you tend to get is, uh, oh, the, the wooden rhodia pad holder. Yeah. The wooden rhodia pad holder is cool. It's, it's over behind you. It's got, it's it's got stuff stuff on it. it, But yeah, I've I've got a, I've got an ink review sitting on it right now. (laughs) That's great. Umber is out of stock. So the wait continues. (laughs) Well, Hmm. I'll just check and see if, you know, sometimes we'll have one. We'll have to see. Mm -hmm. If you want to send an email to the customer service, if they have one, I might be able to hook you up. Yeah, sometimes it's possible to keep one behind just in case, you know, yeah. something happens. Scraggles. Shh. Um, if, you, uh, if you like the, the NWF stuff, that material is really cool. It is. I yeah. like it a lot. Um, it's not wax canvas. It's not leather. It's a totally different kind yeah. of thing. And I think it's very nice. I sent my, uh, my mods, like Bijou here, um, uh, a, uh, the NWF. Yeah, the natural wood fiber stuff yeah. is really good. Um, and they make the Vagabond in that. But, yeah. I mean, the material is really cool. I think my, my mods like it. I sent them uh, pin cases for Christmas. Yeah. So, anyway. Yeah. Got to go. Have a nice weekend. Yeah, you take care, yeah, Bill. Yeah, you too, Bill. Glad you're, glad you're around, man. All right. Um, it is like 6.30, and Audrey is she's kicking me down here, reminding me that. I am not. Just He's wailing on my legs. He's a liar. Don't listen to him. <laughs> my stomach uh, is growling. That's the reminder for him, not it is. me kicking. She's going to eat me. Um, so, uh, no, it's Pizza Friday. Uh, tomorrow, maybe I will, but today's Pizza Friday. No, tomorrow's Pancake If Mike's Saturday. not around, oh, well. So, yeah, Pizza Friday. Heck yeah, Pizza yes. Friday. That's what time it oh. is. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get going. Um, turn, off some, ah, turn off some lights. Uh, it's like Mr. Rogers style, just like yeah. slowly fade out, yeah. change our cardigan, get out of here. Oh, a friend of ours that's in the community is in the hospital. We don't really have to say anything about who it is, but... We're worried about people right now, so yeah, yeah. just have a good thought for everybody right now. Just it's a tough yeah. time, so yeah. So yeah, send some kind thoughts to yeah, a to exactly. a friend of ours that uh, we can't really say much more about. But yeah, uh, have a good weekend, everyone. First time watching, thanks guys. Oh, it was interesting. Thanks. Glad you uh, glad you had a good time, yeah. Ian. Um, see you later, Alex. See you later, CJ's. Go make some supper and some pens. Yeah, it's a good idea to do. Thanks, Alex. Um, we appreciate that. Yeah, again, don't yeah. want to say anything too much, but just just thinking of a friend right now. Yep. Hopefully they'll be okay. Yeah. So uh, anyway, y'all have a good weekend. Uh, take care of your families and yourselves. Uh, stay the hell inside. Yes, stay inside. <laughs> wear, yeah. wear a cool face mask. And yeah. uh, we'll see y'all later. Oh, I've got a cool face mask coming. I haven't gotten that yet either. Oh, yeah. This we'll we'll last... be having things to show oh, soon, hopefully. So cool. All yeah. right. We'll see y'all later. Take care. Say bye, Mike. Goodbye, Mike. Good job. Thanks. Uh, There we go.